Hi everyone, it's Lindsay from Chickadee Market and today we are going to be moving our cauliflower seeds that we started exactly a week ago. We're going to be taking these little guys and putting them in their own individual cells. And this process is called pricking out. All you're gonna need for this step is the individual cells that you're gonna be moving them into. I've gone ahead and put soil in this and given it a thorough watering, and I'm gonna be using a pencil. You can use a specialized tool for this. All you need is a pencil. These are our little seedlings, and I will link below the video of me and Wilhelmina starting that process and sowing these seeds. We did cauliflower and broccoli at the same time. These were from new seeds, that I had just purchased a few weeks ago. And this is from an old pack of seeds that I had left over from last year that were already old at that time. And as you can see, I put the whole pack of seeds in here and we only got one little guy that germinated. So clearly getting new seeds is important. I don't feel so bad about this happening because I've got new seeds that I can plant out and there's still plenty of time for that. So I will also be doing that later. So we are going to start by taking a clump of these out. This is a good time, these were getting a little dry now that I'm feeling the soil. And as you do this process, see I've got a large clump of them. They're getting kind of leggy, which means they're just getting long and skinny because they're reaching out for the sun. And what you're gonna do is take each individual little sprout. This little guy, has got his nice long root on there. Start by taking your pencil and just put it in the center of each cell and give it a little wiggle to make a hole. You can go all the way down to the bottom. Put as much of him in there, including part of the stem, down into the soil. You do not have to worry about bunching up that root. They will be fine in there. As you can see, he's pretty deep down in there and I am gonna put another little bit of soil on top. So we're just gonna do that for each one of these little sprouts. And I do not remember how many of these we planted because we just kind of took a little handful and sprinkled it on top. So I'm, I don't know how many cells of these we'll end up with. And any of the extras that we don't end up wanting to plant, I can give away or sell any of my extras. This is a good opportunity to take a look at the seedlings as you take them out. This is a nice, strong seedling. This much is root. Some of them have really short roots, and so I chose not to plant those. This guy has a nice, healthy root, so he's definitely going in. So I've got all my seedlings in, and there were four spaces left in this whole tray. So that's a lot of cauliflower. I'm not gonna be planting all these, but we will grow them up a little bit and give some away, maybe sell some of them. And we did plant the one broccoli that did sprout. I put him right in here and I used, um, this is just a piece of wood chip that was in my soil. And I put it upright so I can see which one's the broccoli. I did notice as I was pulling out that last broccoli sprout that there were a couple other seeds in there that were trying to grow. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more water because it is kind of dry in there. So I gave it a little bit more water. We'll give those seeds a little bit more time. I'm not super hopeful that anything will happen with those, but if they do, I've got three extra cells here in the tray um, that I can put some broccoli sprouts in if they decide to come up. That's it for pricking out cauliflower. I hope this was a helpful tip for you guys to learn how to start seeds and move them on to the next stage. These guys will stay in this tray for about three and a half weeks, then they will be ready to go in the ground. Hopefully um, the snow will be gone by then. If not, I can either pot these on to slightly larger cells or try to keep them in here if they're looking healthy enough. But typically about three and a half weeks from this stage and then you can plant right into the ground. You can put a cover fleece over them to keep them warm because it will be cool. It is still before the last frost date. Thanks for watching.